Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started, let me go ahead and point out a couple things. Um, if you hear like a rumbling, like a little bit of a background noise, I have a fan down here. In the past couple of videos, I've complained about being like super hot and sweating profusely. So I got me a fix. And also you'll notice I don't have my backdrop. I have ugliness in the background right now. You guys will see these little pole looking things right here. That's the like, the setup for my backdrop. Just did not want to set it up today. And if there's like a, a dresser back here and we don't really know where to put it. So we're gonna fix that later. But yeah, I just wanted to play around with lighting today. In the past couple of videos or for a while, I've been complaining about my lighting and how it like, it kind of looks like an olive green tint. And I just figured out maybe the cause of it. So yeah, I have decided that I do wanna make some changes to my channel and stuff. And as of a few days ago, I was about to purchase a Canon 70D, which is like the best camera from what I hear, and like a Diva Ring Light Supernova. And just, I have a lot going on right now. It just all seems to happen at once. So I don't know if that's gonna be happening anytime soon. If not, I will just get a, a new light, like the Diva Ring Light, and hopefully that will kind of suffice for, for a while. But yeah, just a little channel update, but I am, uh, let me go ahead and throw this out here. I'm sorry for this very long intro, but I have a lot to, I haven't filmed in a while, so I have a lot to tell you guys, but um, I am going to increase my uploading days. So if you look at my channel banner, or if you watch my videos, you'll know that I do upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So yeah, let me know in the comments below when you watch videos, what time of day, and what days do you watch videos most. But anyway, to the topic and the point of this video, today we're gonna be doing some first impressions over some new Tarte products, and maybe a few more. We'll see what we'll throw in there. I just picked up the new Tarte Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara, and also the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. So this isn't really like a true first impressions. I have used these at least once or twice already, but I still don't really have like a full on opinion of them. Like when I have worn them, I haven't worn them like for a very long period of time. So yeah, we're gonna do this video a first first impression style and kill two birds with one stone. But yeah, the Tarte Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara runs for $23 at Sephora. It just says it is a jet black volume packed mascara. Um, it says coat lashes in ultra black volumized color with just one stroke for thicker, sexier looking lashes. This amped up drama filled mascara is infused with triple black painted mineral pigment. So it's supposed to be like extremely black, which is nice. Um, it softens and nourishes lashes as it paints and creates glossy, saturated definition for hours of mess-free wear with no flaking. It sculpts, separates, and lifts your lashes for an ultimate boost of volume, length, and curl. So yeah, I have worn this a couple of times before, so I have a pretty good idea of how I feel about it, but we're gonna go ahead and apply it on camera, wear it throughout the day, and show you guys just to kind of, you know, just to get stuff done. Um, this is just a rubber bristled wand, and this reminds me an awful lot of the Benefit Their Real Mascara, like, it's kind of spiky and it also has like just the tiniest like little ball tip at the end. So I have already curled my lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this first layer and then I'll show you guys what one coat looks like. Okay guys, so there is one layer of mascara and I went ahead and did this eye as well with one layer and I also did the lower lashes. So I know that this mascara claims to be more volumizing than anything, but I actually find that on my lashes anyway, it's actually more lengthening. I don't get a lot of volume out of this. I do find that the bristles really do separate the lashes and really give good definition. And I do like it for getting like in the inner corners or the outer corner and for the lower lashes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a second layer and show you guys how it builds. And I do find that this is a very flexible formula and I also find that it's very buildable on itself so you can let this dry completely and go back in with another layer and it's not like super crunchy or anything so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a second layer okay guys so there is two layers and I actually like this mascara a lot better when you kind of let the first layer dry a little bit and then go in with the second coat it does give a lot more volume um, I will say that this is not too wet of a formula and it's also not too dry it's just that perfect medium it's not super messy or anything it doesn't get all over my eyelids which I usually have a problem with but it almost separates too much on me like I can kind of I don't like to see through my lashes it just isn't super thickening to me um, I'm very picky with mascara though so you may try this and absolutely love it but yeah that is pretty much all I have to say about the mascara for right now but this is mainly like a review and a first impression on the Tarte foundation the box is so gorgeous it's like this beautiful blue purple gradient and it's so 
Um, so yeah, this foundation is $39. I believe that this comes in 12 different shades and the shade that I picked up is light neutral and this is a perfect match for my skin so I can tell you that. And it seemed like they didn't have a huge variety in the color range. They didn't have anything that was like super dark. So if you're very deep skinned, you're not going to be able to find something in this. But I will say that all of the undertones look either neutral or warm. It says it's a lightweight, full coverage, hydrating foundation infused with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Complex and non-chemical SPF 15 sunscreen. Um, it says deliver the ultimate in hydration boosting coverage with Tarte's 12 hour water foundation. You do get one fluid ounce in this as well. It looks like you get a lot more than what you usually get, but it's the same amount. So yeah, you get this little like medicine dropper type thing but i will say i do have oily skin i have heard a lot of people with oily skin say that they love this so here's what the color looks like and here's the consistency as you can see it's dripping down my hand it's about to drip off no but as usual i'm going to use a brush on one side and a beauty blender on the other um i will go ahead and say that i do like a brush with this a whole lot better i just find that the beauty blender or just a damp and sponge in general just kind of shears it out way too much yeah i have already primed and moisturized my skin and for the brush i'm going to be using the morphe mb5 brush and this has become my absolute favorite foundation brush it just is so good so i don't have a whole lot to cover up today um i do have some discoloration a little bit of redness but i don't have a lot of breakouts or anything going on so it just glides over the skin so beautifully it's so blendable and easy to work with it just gives your skin the most natural healthy looking satin finish it just looks like you have good skin it's very buildable i would say this is a medium to full coverage so you could definitely build this up and it doesn't seem to get cakey or look heavy on the skin or anything and i love how customizable the coverage is i can just start stippling my brush around on areas that i want a little bit more coverage and it does it like immediately so <sighs> I'm a little obsessed with this already. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pump out a little bit more on the back of my hand and use the beauty blender for this side. And you can still get good coverage out of it with a sponge. I just find that I have to use more product. Like I only used a few pumps or a few drops on this side with the brush and it was like super fast. And that may be because of the brush, it sets so extremely fast. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin really. It is still a little bit tacky, so it's not completely done setting yet. I do find that it does minimize the appearance of my pores. Um, but yesterday, it didn't seem to wear very well on my skin. It seemed to break down and start fading fairly quickly. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's because of something else I used. I use a new setting spray, so it could be because of that. But as far as the coverage and the finish goes, I think this is absolutely perfect. So... I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish up the rest of my face. By the way, it is right now 3.02, so we'll say this is three o'clock by the time I got done. I wanted to start earlier today, but I just had a, a lot to do this morning. Now we'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. But I'm back with the rest of my face on. It's only 3.13. My skin looks so flawless. My pores are minimized. And by the way, this highlighter that I'm wearing right now, holy crap. I just picked up the Urban Decay Afterglow highlighter in the shade Sin. I'll show you what it looks like. First time I'm using it, oh my god, I am so in love with it already. So I will check back in in two or three hours and update you guys, so I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back for my final check-in of the night and it is now 10 o'clock. I was going to check back in frequently throughout the day every few hours, but I basically just want to show you guys how it wore all day long. This is actually not very good for a $23 mascara. I do notice quite a bit of flaking. The lashes don't look like super black anymore, like it kind of looked like they faded a little bit. I am still all for my L'Oreal Miss Mango Rock. Um, it just doesn't do anything special and looking up close at the lower lashes they look almost gray like it's like the pigment just completely faded so that's really weird that's not something i usually notice in mascaras so yeah flaking fading just nothing that great so on to the foundation yeah i've had this on for a total of seven hours if i had started this video earlier i would have tried to make it to like a, the 12 hour mark because that's how long the foundation says it's supposed to last on the skin i didn't use a setting spray or anything like that today because i really wanted to test the wear of this foundation on its own and as far as highlighting goes i did not highlight my t-zone because i wanted to see if i really did get oily with a hydrating foundation like this so as far as how everything on top of the foundation held up i do notice quite a bit of fading in my blush and bronzer my highlight is still going pretty strong so urban decay afterglow is that what's called afterglow highlighting powder or something like that it's pretty good i'm very impressed but um my bronzer is faded quite a bit my blush is not as vivid as it was earlier um, I don't really notice anything like settling into my pores or anything. My pores are still pretty minimized. Um, I do notice a little bit of settling into like fine lines, which isn't like 
super abnormal for me. I do usually have some settling like in my little 11 marks up here. It does still feel very lightweight on my skin. It doesn't really feel like I have anything on. So as far as this being a hydrating foundation, I, I can't really speak for that, but I can speak for it not feeling heavy, looking thick, and looking cakey on the skin. So that's all a very big plus. So is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation worth the price? I definitely think this is something worth checking out despite the very bad staying power on it. Um, as far as the mascara goes, I do not think it's worth it. $23, first of all, that's that's pretty steep for a mascara in my opinion. A $23 mascara should not be flaking whatsoever. As far as the effect goes, I just don't think it's anything special. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'm sorry I didn't check back in throughout the day like I said I was going to, but we're here at the end of the night and that's all that matters. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you liked this video, subscribe, Follow me on all my social media. All the links are below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.